Hi, my name is Bakari Hager Robinson, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I typically use the Allen and Heath GLD 112 at the Stillman Church to the Nazarene. The first step, when it comes to just turning it on, I typically go over here and I hit the start here button and it turns on the uh, sequential switch system right there. And um, it is connected to the board over here, which is, like I said, an Allen and Heath GLD 112. And um, you can see here, that's all the tracks. And uh, if you zoom in closer, sorry, that's kind of bright. Just gonna give it a minute. You can see these are the drum tracks and you can see the kick, snare, tom, one, two, and three, overhead, bass, acoustic guitars, one, two, and one, and two, and then electric guitar, one, and two, and three. And then uh, down here, you see here, these are the layers, layers A, B, C, and D. And then layer B, we have the pastor's mic and um, right now it's muted and it's typically muted when uh, whenever it's just people are st just coming in. I don't want his mic on and uh, you know, it's super loud, you know, before he wants to start talking. Uh, so I have it muted and also muted while the band members are performing, you know, so it doesn't pick up, you know, feedback and cause feedback. And then I have these color coded mics here, white, yellow, gray, and red, blue, purple. Uh, those are all the vocal mics. And we have Pastor Jay, that's Pastor John, the worship leader. That's his mic. He has his own channel there. See right there. And then Mike, uh, another one of the singers, has his own channel. And then you can see right here, this is where I can adjust the gain. See right there. And then these are the faders, obviously. Adjust the volume. And right here, P-A-F-L. Depends as if I wanted to click on this and listen to... Pastor John individually, I could click on that right there, and then I could go over here and put on these headphones, and I can listen to him individually if I want to solo him out and he just hear him, just so I can hear how he sounds. So that's a good way to really um, listen, and sometimes I even like to do that when I'm listening to, you know, wh or whoever the vocalist is, and just, you know, see who the stronger singers are, um, you know. And, um, and even if someone's you know, slightly out of tune or whatever, you know, I can turn them up or turn them down if I need to. In layer C, we have the video and iPod track. I can use uh, the iPod track to play music from this laptop here. It'll connect uh, this cord here, or even from my phone or one of the kids' phones at Remix, which is the youth gathering every Tuesday. When the kids come in, or they're just coming in, or while well, events going on um, at Remix, I will um, often always play music from there. And then the video uh, feed comes from the computer over there. That's oftentimes the welcome music as people are coming in on Sundays. <clears throat> and as we slide over here, you see these tracks. We have the piano, organ, keys left and right. Uh, that's for the keyboard. Um, and then obviously that's the organ. And these are connected. So if I control one, I control the other. And then there is the click track, and that's muted because you don't want that in the house. You only want that in the in-ear mics of the performers. You know, they use that as a guide, the click tracks. Um, and the click track actually, it comes, it's in their ear, ear one and ear two. Those are the in-ear microphones. Ear one is the um, women, ear two is the guys. So they hear that in their in-ears um, as a guide, you know, while they're performing. And that's why that's muted so it's not in the house so the audience doesn't hear it and then over here we have the drums dca uh, dca guitars dca keys and dca background vocals it's hard to see sorry it's kind of bright uh, but you can see that there and if i want to control like the overall volume of the drums in general i can just adjust that there Instead of having to go all the way over here to all these drum tracks, you just see here all the yellow, and you know, do it individually. I can just do it by doing the DCAs and the same with the guitars and the keys. And then these here are all the click tracks. Um, this is what's played in the background uh, in the in house speakers. Uh, 
And this right here is actually, well, this is the click track, I'm sorry. This is the click track. These are all the background tracks, all these pink ones here. That's the percussion, bass, piano, keys, electric guitar, acoustic guitar. Um, that's vocals. And as you can see there, the click track is all the way turned down because you don't want it in the house. And then right here, you have the gain. That's what everything is on. So that's a Jets hit. So um, when I adjust these knobs here, I'm adjusting the gain. But if I were to hit this here, then I'd be able to pan it to the right or to the left. So that's how I can go down there. If I want to go right to the subs, subwoofers, you know, I just hit that there and then I can adjust the knobs and I can adjust what's coming, you know, out of the bass for this example um, into the subs. And if I hit select, for example, I'm on acoustic guitar two, um, this screen pops up and I have preamp, PEQ, compressor, manual, RMS, delay, insert, and gate. And um, also over here, uh, you see high pitch frequency. If I adjust this here, you can see that's adjusted. So I can adjust it right there. I can click on it with my finger and um, do it that way either way. So yeah, we got the high pitch frequency, gate, um, low frequency, low mid gain, high mid gain, high frequency gain, threshold. Um, up there it's parametric EQ. It's a compressor. And as well, over here I can go in and I can see the uh, in-depth view of all these things. See, that's the preamp. Um, I can go in and I can adjust, you know, the gain right right there, as it were, trim, uh, frequency, the slope, and here's the gate. Um, I can go and I can control the hertz, and I can see the attack and release, the whole threshold depth. There's the insert, PEQ. I can go in just whatever I want right there. Compressor and delay and uh, it's the routing page. So, um, so yeah, as long as, as long as I hit this select right here, whatever channel, it'll be um, affecting whatever channel it is that I hit select. So I selected the acoustic guitar channel. So if I select the acoustic guitar channel and if I adjust the high pitch frequency, then I'm, I'm adjusting the high pitch frequency for the acoustic guitar channel. And then over here you have, these are the meters. These are all the inputs right there. And you can see FX, you go and adjust whatever FX you want, uh, the reverb. Uh, you got the uh, inputs, outputs all labeled there, if you wanna see that. These are the scenes. Now when it comes to the scenes, if I wanna save a certain so we'll save it a certain way um, that I have it for the next Sunday service, for example. You know, I'll go here and I'll just hit recall. And then I would hit yes if I wanted to save it. If I want to make a new one, I just go to store, you know. And uh, this is the ganging, this is the uh, where I can adjust, you know, trim, high pitch frequency, gate, PEQ, compressor. And again, all the uh, inputs are labeled right there. I mean, it's the setup panel. Now moving on, you see I have mix there. When I hit mix, I can see, well, for instance, right now I have the reverb channel selected. And um, Since I have that selected, since I have mix selected, I can see which tracks are getting reverb. So I, now I can see that it's mostly the vocal mics and I can go in and I can um, adjust whatever I would like. You know, if I want more reverb from say the blue, I can adjust it. I can see there, uh, here are the tracks, some instrument tracks, some of the keys, guitars, um, that I have reverb. So that's how I can go in and I can hit mix. Right now, obviously, the mix is on the, uh, the mains, uh, the main speakers, main left and right. Um, see right there, it's main left and right. 
in the main center right there. So this is the mix that I'm currently on. Right where it says tap, where that's uh, blinking right there. I actually will tap that to the beat of the song while the performers are performing to make sure that the, uh, the reverb is in time with, uh, with the song. So I have to remember to tap that at the beginning. Uh, so make sure it goes with uh, the tempo of the song. Going in here, you can see iPad 1 and 2. Those are the uh, channels that control the church's YouTube feed, and it's mixed through that, and you can also see it up here. That's the chorus channel, that's the chorus effect. These are the uh, mute buttons here. That's BGV, that's background vocals. I'll typically have that muted while the pastor is speaking so the mics don't pick up you know, and cause feedback while he's talking. And then this is the chorus and effects and the reverb mute. I'll have them muted when the pastor's talking as well. And then I'll have to unmute them when the band starts performing again. And there's the pastor mute. I typically will mute him at the beginning before the official service uh, starts and while the band is performing. So I can mute there or like right there. And that was an in-depth view of how to use a Allen & Heath GLD-112. I hope you found this informative and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video.